Hi everyone, my name is Chris Lee, a mechanical engineer from Winwin. Today, I'm here to share the design concept of ORV3 primary liquid cool IT gear with you. Now, let's get started. Today's topic will be focusing on three parts. First, I'll be sharing the IT gear design concept and the key parts used in liquid cool IT gear. Second, I'm going to share the ejector design concept and how it facilitates the installation of IT gear. Last, I'll share quick connector mounting module design concept and how it is held in place on IT gear. Now, let's start from the first topic, IT gear design concept. On the left, this is the standard size of IT gear according to OpenRack V3. The dimension of IT gear is 537 of width, 805 of length, and 141.5 of height. Now, let's review the key features from this liquid cool IT gear. On the rear side of IT gear, we have a 48 volt busbar clip which can connect with busbar and rack for power input. Besides, we have primate male QC connector on the rear side of IT gear, which can connect with female QC and rack manifold for liquid flow. On the front side of IT gear, we have an ejector, which is used to help operator to install IT gear into rack. These are all the key parts that will be used in liquid cool IT gear. Let's move to the next topic, ejector design concept. In this page, we will talk about the ejector design feature, which we should focus on when we design an ejector. This is the first one, QC mating stroke. When we use ejector to install IT gear into rack, the guiding stroke of ejector should be longer than QC mating stroke. Second, Interaction between ejector and the rack. The relative motion between ejector and the rack is an important part to impact the smoothness of ejector operation. Third, large QC spring force. Due to the QC spring force will keep pushing IT gear from the rear side even when we finish the installation of IT gear. We need a latch to retain IT gear in the rack. Furthermore, to consider the user safety, we add a brake function part to prevent operator from hitting by ejector handle. Last, IT gear insertion force. We use the principle of lever to make its installation easier by using ejector. These are all the ejector design features we should focus on. I'll move on to talk more detail about each feature. This page shows the operation stroke and the in interaction of ejector design feature. On the right, the ejector guiding stroke is long enough to make sure it can help operator to install IT gear into rack during the QC meeting. In addition, when the ejector is operated, the pivot of the lever is on the contact point between ejector hook feature and the rack frame. So, there's only rotation happening on the contact point. We thought that is good for ejector operation because there's no more relative motion except rotation. Let's move on and talk about lock function and break function. As I mentioned in the front, the QC spring force will keep pushing IT gear from the rear side. We need a latch to retain IT gear in the red well, like picture shown below. Furthermore, when we release in the ejector latch, the ejector handle may pop out and uh, end it up hurting people. To avoid this, we add a brake function part to reduce the rotation speed of ejector handle. Let's talk about the last ejector design feature, labor saving ratio. To calculate the labor saving ratio, 
we should consider a QC spring force, bus bar mating force, insertion friction between IT gear and the red knife. The force on handle should go against this force so we can use ejector to install IT gear into rack. On the right, we use the principle of lever to come out the labor saving ratio. The labor saving ratio will change accordingly to the installation process of IT gear. In current design, the maximum of labor saving ratio is up to seven. We think this ejector can lighten the operation force effectively. The above are all of the ejector design feature we would like to share to you. At this point, I would like to turn to the next topic, QC mounting module design concept. Here we have two design features of QC mounting module. The first one is about easy maintenance. The other one is about robust structure. What means easy maintenance? On the left, the QC mounting module consists of three main parts, which are male QC, mounting bracket, and the retaining rail. We also reserve a space for assembling each part. After that, we just need to put it down, move to the side, and use screw to fix QC mounting module on IT gear. We try to make everything simple for maintaining QC mounting module. For robust structure, to make sure the QC mounting module is strong enough, we have done a simulation for the QC mounting bracket. On the left, the QC spring force will apply on the surface A of QC mounting bracket. So, here we have two variables in the simulation. One is about the thickness of surface A. The other is about the impulse feature. And the our goal is to make sure the maximum deformation of surface A is less than 0.1 millimeter after loading force. On the right, we have four simulation results, but only case three and case four meet our goal. In case three, the maximum deformation of surface A is about 0.07 millimeter in case 4, it's about 0.06 mm. Also, the simulation result of case 4 is better than case 3. We thought the extra impulse feature on case 4 may cause another flatness issue. So, here we choose case 3 as our best solution for robust structure. In case 3, the thickness of surface A is 1.5 mm and without impulse feature. That brings me to the end of my presentation. Here's call to action page. Please check the link for more information about advanced cooling solution and co-create work stream. Thanks for your attention.